everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kuyare and today I'm going to be doing a get to know me tag. 22 random questions, so yeah, let's get started. How old would you be if you didn't know how old you are? Mm, I would just be timeless. Why well, could a number? Um, life is so short. Why do we do some things we don't like? and like so many things we don't do. I don't know, I feel like some people may not be risk takers, they may just feel like they want to play play it by the status quo instead of just doing what they actually love because they are living up to other people's standards. I don't have time for that, so I do what I want and I do what I love. Um, number three, what is the one thing you'd most like to change about the world? Hate. Um, if the average human lifespan was 40 years old, how would you live your life differently? Honestly, I feel like I probably wouldn't change that much just because the things that I wanted to complete, I've been doing it and I'm happy. Are you more worried about doing things right or doing the right thing? A little bit of both. You know, I want to do the right thing that's good for me. And you'll never know what you can do right. And I feel like for me, doing the right things is definitely a personal situation. And doing things right will never happen. Nothing really goes the way you plan. So you just kind of have to go with the flow. If you could offer a newborn child only one piece of advice, what would it be? Love your mistakes. What's something you you know you do differently than most people? <laughs> um, why are you you? Because my parents, you know, made love and they created me. What, what do you mean, why are you you? I don't understand why people are asking these type of questions. If you had to move to a state or country besides the one you currently live in, where would you move and why? Well, currently I'm in Spain because I am in grad school, but I'm originally from Philly. <laughs> and I moved to Jersey when I was about 13. But if I had to live anywhere else, it probably would be Tanzania. Um, which is worse, when a good friend moves away or losing touch with a good friend who lives right near you? Oh! Yeah, I think losing touch with a good friend who lives right near you. I'll save that for a story time. What are you most grateful for? I think what I'm most grateful for is love. Would you rather lose all of your old memories or never be able to make new ones? Never be able to make new ones because I feel like the old ones keep me grounded in where I'm going in the future. And I, I hold those really close to me. Um, has your greatest fear ever come true? I wouldn't say greatest fear. I don't think from that perspective. So I can't answer that one. It's too much. Um, do you remember that time five years ago when you were extremely upset? Does it really matter now? Obviously not, because I don't even remember. What is your happiest childhood memory? What makes it so special? I think having my eighth birthday party, and the one that I planned by myself, I had three birthday cakes and nobody knew they were bringing them, including my parents and my ever so dear aunt. Thank you, I love you, I love all of you. I've been event planner since day one. Okay, have you ever been with someone, said nothing, and walked away feeling like you had just had the best conversation ever? Um, mm, <laughs> probably. Um, I, um, if you just won a million dollars, would you quit your job? Absolutely not. Listen, I would probably get rid of everybody's debt close to me who I absolutely love, like top five, maybe top 10. Then put some of it in a Swiss account so it could build interest and you know, stay there so that when my grandbabies and my kids need some moolah, I can provide. See, this, you gotta think wisely when you start adding zeros. That's how to get you. Um, what's the difference between being alive and truly living? Um, 
What would you do differently if you knew nobody would judge you? You know, if we be honest, I might take the Cardi B route. No, I wouldn't strip. <laughs> They just make so much money. Like, how am I going to college and I'm supposed to just make my tuition in four hours? <laughs> um, decisions are being made right now. The question is, are you making them for yourself or are you letting others make them for you? Let me tell you, I make my own decisions when I want to make them, how I want to make them. Let's just be clear. Nobody is really ruling what I do. And in the event, obviously, people who are supporting me financially will have a large say in what I do. I feel like if that's the case, then we're moving on to plan B to make something else that I want to do work. Those are all the questions that I have answered for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to subscribe and watch my other videos. I hope to talk to you soon. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.